Okay. So this is an idea of what we are going to be doing today. This is your first project. So each of you should have received one of these boxes with a bunch of supplies in there. So what I want you to do is take all your supplies out and set them to the side. And then well, first we're gonna start with, um, you wanna have a clean area um, and protected area because we are gonna be working with paint. I want you to take out your paints. So in addition to your paints, you're gonna need some kind of paper plate or something to put your paints in. You're gonna need one or two cups of clear water. You're gonna need your wide brush and your thin brush. And if you want, you can use your number two pencil to sketch out your idea, okay? And then you want to have your box, right? So you want to make sure that it's empty because you're going to be moving it around and you're going to be holding it, okay? So my box, unfortunately, has a, 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 a seam on there from the fold and a little bit of tape area, but that was because it was mailed to me. So yours should be fairly smooth. Now that's the thing, if yours is um, smooth or rough, it doesn't matter. Just remember that we're going to be working with water on paper. So you don't want to use too, too much water with your paper. So we want to use um, this as, an, as our example. And we're going to do our starry night idea, OK? So on your paint, this is your paint palette. I want you to put your dark, your black, your blue. Don't worry if your blue is different than my blue. A large amount of your white, your yellow, and your pink, OK? So this way it'd be easy enough for us to blend it. So to get started, we're gonna go ahead and bring our cup of water. We're gonna use our wider brush. It doesn't matter if your brush isn't as wide as mine. And I recommend very gently, oh, you wanna get some extra paper towels too. Just use your wider brush and then just gently brush over your box. Not too much water, but just enough. You see that? Okay. And then starting with just a little bit of your black, you're gonna put some water and bring it over. And using your paper towel to dab it, we're gonna start now you can start all the way at the top or you can start right here in the midway. But we're gonna start somewhere in the middle here. And you wanna hold it from the side. And you don't have to be perfect. So it doesn't matter if you don't know how to paint, it's okay. Add some black. Okay, and then go over to your blue. Drag your blue into your black like that. And we're going to add some blue. And you can flip them back and forth, and it's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. And since you see how I have those little straight lines, so since this is the sky, we can swirl it a little bit. Because of this paper, it's not going to blend as well, so we can, we'll make it blend our way. So it's swirling, when I say swirl, you can do swirls, you can do half circles, and that blends it a little better. Okay. Get some more of your blue. And this one I use a lot less water. Because we already put water on the box. And it's okay if it goes up in there. If you want, you can paint all the way up to there too. Let's bring some more black in here. See, I'm just smooshing it in there, smooshing it. When I say smooshing, I'm pushing, pushing the paintbrush in there. You see, I'm not even cleaning it or anything because you don't need to.
Now this is your sky. If you want your sky blacker or darker, this is a night sky, you can do it darker. But I kind of like what we have going on here where it's kind of light and it's going into the sunset. Okay, so then we'll take your brush and clean it, pushing down into the water, pushing down. Pushing down until you got it really clean and then clean it off on your paper towel. So it does help to have two cups of water, like I said, so that you can use that same brush in the cleaner water. And now we're going to go into our pink. And like I said, don't worry if your pink is not my pink. It could be anything. So we're going to start down here in the middle. And we're just gonna blend that in. But don't touch the black yet. Just first work on the pink itself in the middle here. And then work your way up. And you can take a little bit of that blue and mix it in with a little bit of that pink so you make a purplish color. See that purplish color? Let's make that the middle color. And if your pink is as thin as my pink, you can just put your a little bit of that white in there. And that'll thicken it up a little bit. See what I mean? Nothing perfect. And get even a little bit of the black to make that purple a little darker right in here. And you could dab it if you want. And again, go into your border and clean that off real good. And pushing it down. So yellow is a little trickier. Yellow, it tends to be very thin. It doesn't matter what yellow it is. So we're gonna go direct with our yellow. No water. Just use that yellow directly. And again, we're gonna start from the bottom. And it's okay to go up into that pink. See, you get that beautiful orangey, sunset color okay if you mix it up not, even if it's not completely yellow it's okay yellow enough and on the side of your box it should look something like that okay let's go back Clean that up. Okay, so we're going to put this wide one to the side and we're going to use our thinner one. With that, with the clear, and go into that white. Oops. And go into the white. So why you want to clear the area because sometimes it slips from your hands. I'm going to show you how to do your little clouds. So you're going to make a line. Okay, and then you're going to poof it. Pushing, 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 pushing up. See? You're just pressing down. You're not even. And just keeping it near your line. You can make your cloud come out. You can do another cloud up here if you like. Just a line. And then push and push and push and push. So that we're making puffs. Push, 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 push. Push, push. And 
the good thing is this is acrylic paint, so this dries pretty fast. And push. Okay. And we're gonna now with the white you want to go into the clear, the cleaner one. Because we might want to use that again. Now, if you see in our picture, we have stars, and a shooting star. So with the stars, <clears throat> excuse me, with the stars, you're gonna use the back end of your paintbrush. So just stick it into the paint like that. You see that? And stick it in so that you have a little dab of paint and you make as many stars as you want. Since this is twilight, we can go into the pink area because sometimes you know you see the stars. If you wanted to, you can even make a moon. Using the end, just making it round. There we go. You can make a moon. And you can make if you just touch it lightly like that, little little stars. Bigger stars with more paint. You keep going. You can hardly see them, but they're there. You can see those stars. If you wanted to do a star like this one, you take a big dot and you make a line and a line and a line and a line coming down like that. And then you make a little line, and a little line, and a little line, and a little line like that. And I put lines on the end to make it even brighter. To do a shooting star, you just do like a dash, a dash, a dash, a dash, a dash, like that. And then a big old star at the end of that. So it looks like it's shooting from somewhere. And you can make that big. You can just make the light around your moon and then clean it off before you go back. So we're going to put that one down and now we're going to go back with our flat brush. Okay. And we're going to go into the black and we're going to go, now watch, you're going to put that in there on one side and on the other side to make it flat like that. So if you see that, it's flat. And it's black on both sides. And now we're going to do our trees. So we could do a tree right here. Look, I have a crease that tells me a tree should go here. And you don't have, you could do an actual line. So we, we have a tree here and a tree here and a tree here and a tree here. Right? And again, if you want more paint, you go back and you do flat and flat. So trees have limbs, so you can use that, like that, like that. And go, go back, like that. Or you can use the edge and you can make like a pine tree. So we're gonna press, see now see what I'm doing? I'm taking my paintbrush and I'm pressing and then I'm gonna push from the middle out. See, I'm just pushing it out and you can practice this before you even get on your box or you can just go for it push 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 and go all the way down all right and another pine tree let's go here you don't have to be perfect you do like a, a Z, just go up, so in this we have lots of little pine trees, we can do a little pine tree, right? 
Now I'm just going to lay this down and I'm going to show you that with the other one you can do the thing except just like we did the clouds where we just push we're going to push. Push, 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 push. And right now just looks like a mishmash, but take a little bit of water. And if you need to add more black paint to your palette, you can. You can do it again up here. Uh, you could study trees if you'd like and look at the silhouettes of different trees and see what you like best. So we're just going to do these like this. And don't be afraid to get some of that blue in there if you need to. It's going to reflect what's going on in the, in the sky and I'll show you what we're going to do. okay if you want to add some more pizzazz and color. Okay. The other thing you may want to do is take your black or your blue, just kind of mix it together. It could be just the black or just the blue or a mixture of the both. And if you do like a little, a little V like that, you can have birds flying, coming in. And the last thing you want to do, and again, you can keep adding more cloud, more clouds. You can add more. Now, what I would do is, now that these clouds are a little drier, add more paint. Don't be afraid to. Also, add just a little touch of white to the tops of your trees. Just little touches here and there, just little highlights to show that there's still light. Do it on this side where the moon would be reflecting down onto the trees. If you ever go out at night, you'll see that the moon reflects the light down. So wherever you think that the moon would be reflecting light onto those leaves and trees. And that's it, artist. Now you just sign your name and you have a night on the side of your box. We'll see you tomorrow morning. Great. So I'm so proud of you that you actually took a chance to make something on the side of your box. No worries if it doesn't look exactly like mine. This is your box. You can do whatever you like. I'm sure some of you are going to do a much better job than this. I was trying to do it with the simple uh, tools that we have. I went to you before. If you guys wanted to, I put some extra black paint on my palette. If you wanted to make it look darker, you could also do that as well, so that it doesn't just, you know, it doesn't just blend in here. Um, but that's optional. You don't have to do that. Uh, you can. If you guys really actually wanted to paint uh, little leaves, you could do that too. So this is your box, like I said. So we, I wanted you to have more than just the box. So you see, I only painted one side. Think about what you can paint on the other sides. What can you do with these sides? You know, turn this into a little house. Um, you can get branches from outside and actually glue them to the side and make it look like a little wooden house 
or a wooden box or a wood box with uh, little branches on it. It's up to you. You can decorate it any way you'd like. Um, another thing you can do is punch little holes with, um, if you have a hole punch or a scissor or very carefully, of course, and punch little holes and not with a real candle, okay? But with the, one of those little fake candles that you can get at the Dollar Tree that you can put a battery in, you can put it in there and have your little sky light up. So there are lots of things you can do. Um, instead of just having a plain white box, you guys can paint the entire thing this way and design it for your own bedroom. So I hope you enjoyed this art activity and I look forward to working with you guys again.